All right, so we are going to install a version of 15 for free PBX. All right, so this assumes a couple of different things. One, that you already have some place to store it, like Volter or DigitalOcean or Amazon, you know, uh, AWS or something. Uh, obviously, I'm choosing Volter, um, which is fine. And so if you want to download uh, free PBX, so we're going to start right from the simple beginning, download, um, view all versions. For this, I'm doing a version of 15. Uh, so what I would recommend doing is copy link. Then you come over to your version of Volter, uh, custom ISO, upload manage, then you can add. I already added this, but you would paste it when it asks you where to go. All right, this is really bright, but I can't adjust. Well, I guess that's not very helpful. All right, well, whatever. All right, it's attached. And that's the old one. I'm just going to attach this and reboot. All right. Um, okay, connect. Obviously, it's a screen, so you want to do VGA mode. You don't have to worry about using a serial cable or any of that fancy crap. That's not really important here. root password's not set, we're going to set it to something simple, because um, I'm just going to use this for videos, probably. Um, we will do, And we just sit and wait. If you don't have a login. seem like I don't know why you come to As you can see, it takes quite a while to install. Alrighty, it is now finally done. All right, so this time I'm not gonna hit the reboot button. I'm gonna close out of here. I'm gonna go to settings, custom ISO, remove ISO. By doing this, it's gonna force a reboot.
Alright, um... <clears throat> okay, so this is the way it looks when you first set it up. Um, what I normally do here at this point is I just do... Upgrades, updates to the system of Linux, which is CentOS right now in this version. CentOS 7. It's like a reskinned version. Alright, so from here, um, I also want to make sure that. upgraded <clears throat> and to the newest version because we can't do that once we activate. We can't update commercial modules without the license for it. So that's why I'm up that's why I'm upgrading everything right now. We are finally coming up on the finalization of when the updates are done. That took another 20 minutes. Right. We're going to reload. That's quick. All right, we're gonna go here. All right, <clears throat> so here we're going to configure No, no, because every time you hit yes, auto configure, it always locks me out of the firewall. So, now that that's good, what we can do here is now go to Asterisk SIP services. Now we can detect settings. All right, perfect. Submit. We don't need local as a, it's a cloud-based system. So, um, and that is how you install that. We just want to make sure. All right. Um, so new interface detected. Let's go find. All right, firewall. Enable firewall. Firewall, alright, responsive. Enable. Good. Enable. Enable. Interface, this is the internet. You always want this to, this to be the internet. Especially if you're on a cloud hosted system. And this is mine. Um, home. So, everything that you want is here. Okay, we'll do this. Right. We'll refresh so that we can see everything. All right.
So something else I also do here is both, that's good. Could server name and browser. Yes. Um, use menu, yes. Show setting language, no. Okay, we'll go here. All right, now that, that looks good. Okay, everything looks good there. There. Right. And now, technically, uh, can just do, I don't know, let's go back to advanced for a second and change this VoIP server. Home. Okay. You can't see, so you can see right here. Now words change. You can't see this, but like if I bring it down, you see where it says freepbx freepbx.sangoma.local. That is the host name. To change this, we need to activate our system. So we got to go here. We need to go system admin uh, activation activate. Now I already have an account here. Let's click on activate. We're going to put my email address tab and then wait a second. Log in. Continue. New activation. Video PBX. Activate. So now we can now we can change some things. Now then looks good. Um, DNS. Okay. That was obviously what it picked up. Okay. Um, network settings. I always do static. Alright, so here, we're good here, host name, this is where if you want to change it to something, you can do that. Now, if I scroll down, it will change, oops, it will change right here. Um, notifications, obviously you can set your different email addresses. Port management. Um, these are like, I usually try to keep these default, but for HTTP provisioning, I always put 83. Uh, then the rest, must be 84, is default 82, that has to be 80. Oops, that's disabled. There's always some stuff that's missing. We go to America and New York. That is how you rest apps. Um, all right, so we go to FW console.
looks good here. Now let's go to um, module admin. This is where we do all of our updates and things like that. Check online. Make sure there wasn't any I missed, and there wasn't. So that's how you successfully put a free PBX system online.